Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, tonight uh, we're looking at the SR40 by Ruger. Hey, it's not actually uh, going to be a review or anything of the sorts there about the gun. Uh, that'll be a little bit later. Uh, tonight I'm um, talking about hand shooting. Uh, most of us are pretty good with our our strong hand uh, whenever you grab the uh, the gun and you go to shoot you know you always grab it with your strong hand uh, but I just uh, decided the other day you know I know that uh, I should be good with my with my weak hand which is my left hand uh, most of us are right uh, but I never give it a shot, never tried, never even gave it a thought. Uh, you might be kind of uh, disabled, you know, if you're in encountered in some way, you may be shot in your strong arm, you know, you're trying to defend yourself. So I went to the range the other day, and uh, it's a public range, and I just thought, you know, I'll uh, go ahead and see what, uh, what I can do. And I actually surprised myself, and uh, so I took pretty caliber with me. Of course, I took my millimeter as well, and uh, I uh, printed these uh, targets out. They're made by Lee, which makes a uh, reloading equipment. Um, I didn't even realize they were made by Lee until uh, I went to post them. You know, stick them on the uh, what I'm shooting at. But it gives you uh, different, uh, uh, for left and right handed shooters, they, they do have them for both, that, uh, you know, it'll tell you, you know, if you're shooting high there, you're breaking wrist up, and it just kind of gives you an idea of what you're doing whenever you, uh, when you're shooting outside of that circle. And, you know, obviously, you uh, I was doing a lot of pushing there, anticipating the uh, the recoil on that or the follow through. Uh, but overall, I thought I did fairly well, especially with the 40 cal. Uh, my nine millimeter is definitely harder to uh, to handle uh, shooting with the weak hand, and uh, but that uh, should be 15 rounds there. And two, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them inside the circle there. That's probably, let me see here, I would say it's about a two and a half inch circle in the middle of that. Um, just to give you an idea here, I mean, that's that quarter right against the paper, so uh, I would say about two and a half inches. And, uh, Of course, I never have a ruler when I need it or tape measure. Uh, so after I got used to that, I did a little more offhand shooting. And uh, so by the time I was finished, uh, another 15 round mag run through. Uh, you can see that uh, I am, you know, shooting slightly to the right. And, you know, that just might be something that I'll either have to learn to... Uh, to work with just a little bit more but I think it uh, this was around 27 to 30 feet uh, so you're looking about you know 9 to 10 yards and uh, so with the uh, my weak hand that turned out really well you know very surprising on on my part and uh, I'm happy with that really if you're if you're within 30 feet and you're gonna you know and I need to fire with my my left hand which is my weak hand then I don't think that that will be an issue and uh, so that's all I have for now um, just a, a word of advice on the the whole deal is uh, get out do some uh, shooting and practicing with your weak hand uh, the only thing I'll do is make you a better shooter. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, uh, subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them below. 
Uh, I'd be uh, glad to hear from anybody. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching.